Hi guys, coming to you live from Monk Corner, South Carolina. Unfortunately, Jay is down with his back. Um, he had a injury. So if you're coming in from, if you're coming in live, press a one. You'll see the little live button up at the top. Um, if you're coming in on replay, hit a two. Let us know where you're coming from. Um, tonight is football season starting up, and our favorite thing to do is eat the wings. Um, so I've got 10 pounds of wings on the grill. Y'all bear with me because it's my first time going live by myself. Um, but we also have some sauces. Um, I don't do my, the hot sauce. I do plain wings or teriyaki. Um, so we started this journey back in about a year and a half, two years. Um, Jay is down a little over 100 pounds. I am over a little 40. Um, so, hi Tina. Hi John. Usually I got my partner in crime helping me, but he, like I said, he's down. Y'all wishing some prayers to get better. Um, so, we do the Dirty Lazy Keto. Um, also known as keto sometimes. Um, Michigan night. So the game's starting at 7. I'm just putting the wings on, getting them scared, I guess you could say. God, I need my partner in crime. <laughs> um, come on. You gotta hop up and help me. You know, you, you can stand for like 10 minutes. Come on. How's it going, guys? I'm getting there slowly. Hold on. Yes. Guys, I got him coming. Alright. I tried to go live right. so we wouldn't miss each other. So let us know. We are doing chicken wings. We have some new sauces to show you guys. Sugar free sauces. Let us know who your favorite football teams are. As you can tell, we are college Gamecock fans in this house. We have one Clemson fan who's not technically a family member yet, so we're not going to claim that one. Oh, we'll claim him. But so we wanted to jump on and show you guys some of these new sauces. We've had these things in the pantry for about four months and haven't been able to use them yet, so we're really excited about getting to try them. So we picked these up. Let me see if I can put the, the camera view. You guys can read them. There we go. All right. So this one I'm really excited about. This is sugar-free mango habanero. All of these are G Hughes. So if you guys watch us or follow us, you know um, we're big G Hughes fans. He does a lot of sugar-free stuff. So mango habanero. This is more of a dipping sauce. But Stacy's gonna try it on the chicken wings. So famous plucking chicken sauce. It's a dipping, kind of tastes like a honey mustard. We got Thai chili, and then of course we got Frank's red hot buffalo in there that we're gonna be using as well. And then a sugar-free sweet honey. And whether you guys are keto or not. These sauces, all the sauces that we tasted with G-Hughes have been absolutely amazing. I'm going to try to open some of these up. Just to say how long and what temp. Oh, so right now we are at, let me turn this thing off so I can read the comments. Right now we're cooking on a medium. Ah, I'm screwing everything up. Oh. I ain't got no balance. Go dog. Yes. Anybody against Clemson, I'm all for so right now we're cooking on like a medium low, so we weren't really in a big hurry because the game doesn't start until seven. Uh, you can cook them on a little bit higher than that if you like. We're just we're just kind of out here chilling on the front porch. I can't do a whole lot, so I'm kind of sitting on a swing watching her. One of the one of the sexiest views I've had in a long time is just watching my wife cook chicken wings on a blackstone. You know what I mean? Is that the chicken wings you're in love with? <laughs> I don't know what's sexier, you or you cooking chicken wings. You like the legs so, or the wings? I'm going to try. <laughs> I like your legs and your thighs, girl. No, I'm talking about chicken. Oh, oh. So sweet honey. 
That's really good. It's actually really sweet. So guys, okay. um, what's y'all's favorite? The legs or the, the flats or wings as they call it? So if Tiffany, I'm wings, you guys, you guys I'm know Tiffany. Tiffany is an all wing person, all flats. She usually doesn't even eat chicken on the bone. So when she does, all she likes is the flats for whatever reason. That's pretty good. I'm a chicken whatever. It don't matter what part of the chicken it is, I'm gonna eat it. I don't know if I try chicken feet though. Chicken what? Chicken feet. Who? Chicken feet. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I ain't never tried chicken feet. I don't want to try chicken feet. No offense. I, 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 no, I just can't. This is the mango habanero. So I used to work at Domino's. Stacy and I both did. We had a mango habanero sauce for the wings up there. So that was pretty that. good. I can still shake it up, girl. So this thing is one carb for a tablespoon, so they're really good on carbs. I hate flats too, Lindy. I'm all for the little legs. Hey, Woo! Lindy's on. Lindy, y'all coming over? Y'all can come eat or what? Y'all say a prayer for my girl. Um, her husband right now is going through some things I don't want to get into, but say a prayer for her husband. They're pretty good people. They are right. Woo! That. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah? Yeah, if you like mango habanero, you gotta get some of that right there. We got these at Walmart. <clears throat> Woo! Boy, that's got a bite on the back end. Got me that, please. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get some of my tea on that one. Glad I didn't try it. Right at the back end, that's got a really good kick. Mm, from, the, from the what camp? That camp. From Fat Camp. All right. Nice. We got Fat Camp too. I just don't attend. You know what I mean? What? I don't attend. I don't oh. go to Fat Camp. <laughs> She's a little slow tonight. She can't hear. Hey, Doug. Thanks, buddy. I think I'm going to put these underneath the dome. I just kind of run some water. No, you don't need water. Just put the dome on. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Don't question me. I'm a BS master. You think you are. Who's got the tongs, baby? Mm. I don't like wearing tongs. <laughs> tongs riding my butt crack. All right, so this is the Thai chili. The heat level is a two. Look at that. They even got a heat level on there for you. Woo, half of them half. <laughs> Patricia, um, so basically... I'm a real hard-headed person, and um, I work a lot, so what happened was, <laughs> I guess I pulled something or it something, kept working. and I kept working through it, and um, anyway, it caused my disc to start bulging. My body adjusted for the pain so that I could keep working, so then my hips and stuff got twisted, and then I went down with a couple 40-pound bags of salt when I came back up. I about fell into the pool. Um, I couldn't hardly walk. All of the muscles that inflamed, nerves got caught up in there, along with the bulging lower disc. It was it was pretty bad for a couple days. I could barely walk. But now I can actually walk a little bit. Look at that I can't crit. stand up for a long period of time. But Stacy begged me to help her here. Y'all, look. So, I don't do good trying to do two things at one time. It just don't work. So the Thai chili. And just. Is it Jessica? No, Lori. Lori, we've been trying to tell him that for years, but he don't listen. Yeah, Lori, I'm, I'm pretty hard-headed when it comes to that stuff. I don't like calling out of work and stuff. And Anyway, so Thai chili is actually, I'd give it like a 50-50 sweet heat. It's not really hot, but it's got a nice little kick on the end of it. I might should have tried that one before the <laughs> mango habanero. But yeah, all of them are good. None of them are over-sweet. I think they're all going to be good for football. So we also got inside going on. Um, Stacy started cooking earlier. So she's got sausage dip. some sausage dip, which is keto. Um, cocktail. Cocktail weenies wrapped in bacon. So the little smokies wrapped in bacon. You just put those in a skillet. We probably could have could have done those out here. Um, I didn't think about that. But uh, you just put them in a skillet. We got them in a, in a cast iron skillet. 
Just little smokies wrapped in bacon. We're gonna cook them in the oven on 350 for a little while until the bacon is crisp. And then we're gonna use some sugar-free barbecue sauce on top of that. Kind of give them a nice or coat. Or if you like them plain. I'm coming in late on the live. Do sort of sear the wings for a while and then cover. Yeah, um, it kind of depends on how much time you got. I don't know who. Nikki, it depends on how much time you have to cook. So you can cover them if you want to cook them a little faster. Um, I still got other things I have to cook. Yeah, so she's trying to get done. But really, we were just out here chilling out and, and relaxing. So we're not trying to cook them too fast. So our Blackstone Dome does amazing. The Blackstone Dome does help out. We're using the new sugar-free sauces. Oh my God. Abby, we got these at Walmart. So we have... Um, yeah. In our town, they didn't carry the sugar-free, these sauces. We actually found these in Myrtle Beach um, when we were on family vacation a few months ago. And I bought a whole ton. <laughs> I probably bought five or six bottles of sauce up there because they don't offer these in my no, town. No, there's more than that. So, it might be eight bottles of sauce yeah. in there. But um, these are the wing sauces that we bought while we were in Myrtle Beach. But Walmart and Myrtle Beach had them. You can go to G. Hughes website and pick up some stuff. They also sell them on Amazon. So, that's a sugar-free... Thai chili. We're using a mango habanero, which I love on, on chicken. Look at that crisp. And then a sweet honey, which Stacy is probably going to... I think Stacy will like this more than she does with teriyaki. Yeah. But they also have a sugar-free teriyaki, too. And there's only like one carb per serving on these things, so it's really good. I got really good to, for I got keto. To yep. So you know how I used to fry them and then bake them? Yeah. This is so much easier. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I like I like these wings compared to frying. So if you have, they do have a Blackstone with an air fryer combo. Um, we don't do enough air frying. One and two, we have so many people that use it to eat. Um, the air fryer is just not big enough for all the food we need to cook. So we chose not to go with the air fryer combo. This 36 inch griddle does amazing. If you guys want more info on keto stuff, like do's and don'ts, tips and tricks, all that kind of stuff. We, had, we do have a keto group. Drop the word secret down below. We'll get you added in there. Huh? I have to show this. Like, oh. I am amazed at how much it's crisping up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> so, guys, it is crisping up so well. I can't I can't tell you how well. Like, I'm amazed. Yeah, the Blackstone is really good for it. Every, everything we've done on the Blackstone has been amazing. This is the first time doing chicken wings on it, and I'm just like, what? I will also drop the link down below to our Blackstone group. If you guys aren't part of that Blackstone group, come join us. We do all kind of healthy cooking lives in there. Um, all the people post good stuff in there. It's a really good community. And a um, we have a chance. You can you can actually win a 17 inch gas griddle. So the first 10,000 people, we're gonna we're gonna let someone take home a 17 inch gas griddle. So um, it is a Blackstone griddle gas top or gas burner. We got the big dome from Walmart, David. <clears throat> you can also find them on Amazon as well. So I think it was about 20 stone. bucks, if I remember correctly. They're not black stone. What? The griddle, or the, the thing. I can't find the one like this. I bought that at Walmart. Right, but I'm saying Amazon don't carry the black stone oh, one. Amazon does not. We can't find the Amazon dome lid on black stone. Yo, I'm a big Amazon um, shopper, like big time. Like It's so bad to where when the Amazon man pulls up, they got dog treats. Yeah, they bring dog treats to our house because she orders so much Amazon. So, I can tell you now, that ain't on um, Amazon. So, you guys into football, drop your favorite football teams down below. So, we are definitely Gamecock fans. You okay? We're going to go ahead and jump off here. <laughs> Stacy's got to work in my bag. I got to get down. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like it. Did you add them to the griddle raw or did you cook them before? No, we added them raw, Vicki. So what we do is um, let the chicken get to room temperature. So they've been in the sink for about six hours because they were frozen when we got them. So they've been in the sink for about six to seven hours and you let them get down to room temperature and then throw them on there and they cook just fine. So go dogs, go Clemson, go Gators. Wow, a whole range of people. I don't see anybody saying go Gamecocks. There better be some Gamecocks fans on our lives. Come on now. Where's the best place to get wind guards? So we 
Actually, the girl, a uh, friend of ours, Marsha, who got us into this keto stuff, she ordered these windshields off of Amazon for me. Um, I want to say they were about right, 20 guys. bucks too. They weren't too bad. They're not Blackstone wind guards, but they are just wind guards. So, no, they are not flowered. Nope. Lori said Redskins. She's talking about NFL. Heck yeah. I will, Lori. Thank you. So, trust me, she's going to whip me into shape if I don't take care of myself. I promise. Absolutely. So. She's been ready to kick my butt ever since this happened. Look here, my there we go, Amanda. List. Finally, a Gamecocks fan. My honey do list about. is going like this, and he's uh, not doing so well. <laughs> yeah, every day, every day I'm out, her honey do list gets longer and longer and longer. So, again, if you guys want in on the secret keto recipe group, drop the word secret down below. We'll get you added in on that. Lots of good stuff, do's and don'ts, tips and tricks about keto. Um, if you want part of that Blackstone group, I'm gonna drop the link below. Um, for Stacy and I's Blackstone group. So we do a lot of healthy cooking and stuff in there too. So thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. And go Gamecocks. Woo -woo! Have a good night, guys. Thank y'all.